Hey everybody, how's it going? We have the new Tuesday teaser for the Year 3 Season 3, titled Hulda. It comes on August 1st. This is the teaser for the live stream that will be coming up on Thursday here. It brings the new hero class, the Jormungandr, new feral viking hero. We got the teaser for this last week with just an image. However, this is the cinematic intro teaser or reveal trailer. The female version is Hulda. The male version is Gretar, and they're named after the great mythical serpent, the World Eater. As we've already known, they have a Warhammer. Their lore is that they're here to call the weak before Ragnarok, as only the strongest may fight in the battle to come. Season 3 pass holders have this on August 1st. Everyone else can buy this for 15,000 steel on August 8th. And that is the entirety of the information we have on her now. That said, it is a her the main character for the character class is a her. It is Holda. So the teaser, those that guessed that it was a girl, are actually right about that, which is a little surprising. Now that we've seen her in motion though, the hair does make a little more sense. It's a very long ponytail. Can't wait to see what other customizations she has, if she gets anything that isn't just leathers, because this does look like a leather robe similar to Berserker. And I can't wait to see what kind of face paints she gets because we do see the tattoo on her. Other than her, if you're not interested in the new hero, don't want to pretend everything is a nail and hit it with your hammer, the Season 3 patch will also be bringing a new battlefield, which is a Viking breach map called Store Stronghold. This will be free for everyone on August 1st, as all maps always are. And for balance tweaks, we will be getting Nobushi, Shinobi, and Orochi balance updates to make them more competitive, that's what they said. The way the community has been talking about it, balance updates I mean, is these will be, air quotes, reworks. I think applying the term rework to these would be a bit extra. I think these are going to be more minor balance changes, as if they were going to be something major, they would have announced them ahead of time, as they have been for a long time now. So I wouldn't go in expecting too much, but low expectations are harder to let down. We have zero updates for this so far. We'll probably get a full set of patch notes on the entirety of what's being updated with the live stream on Thursday. And if we don't get written patch notes, they will definitely dive into them at least a little bit on the live stream. So we'll have an update then. But I'm curious, what do you think they could be nerfing? They have said that Nobushi's hidden stance is something they want to be looking at. They want to change defensive moves like that. But other than changing how hidden stance allows you to escape things, what would you change on her to make her both more competitively viable and less defensive? Then with Shinobi, I believe this will be altering his kick potential from a second perspective. So if he's not the target you're locked onto. I'm not sure how they can tweak that so it won't also nerf him in a 1v1 but that has been mentioned in the past. Additionally, I think they'll be nerfing his defensive moves with the backflip where he can grab you and then kick off of you to disengage from the fight. As they have mentioned multiple times that they want to tweak how disengage works and remove tools that allow you to disengage significantly. With Shinobi's backflip being the most significant form of disengaging, probably across the entire game so seeing a nerf there alongside the hidden stance nerf wouldn't be unexpected as for orochi i would really like to see them do something with his deflect because as it currently stands if you go for the light deflect you can actually be hit out of your deflect and if you go for the heavy you trade with hyper armor it just seems to be the worst deflect out of the bunch but maybe that's just because i don't see orochis often enough addition to those character changes, I believe we're also getting the roll nerf with this patch. This has been something they've been talking about for two seasons now, I believe. Uh, so the unlock back dodge roll should be seeing some form of nerf that you can't use it in combat, or it simply is less effective. We don't have any details on this, but I'm pretty sure that was slated for this season's release, so we should see that at least being discussed on Thursday. And honestly, that's probably a much better idea than just giving everybody a roll catch. That is all of the news we got with today's blog post and the bit of teaser for what's coming on Thursday. Thursday being the deep dive warrior's den showing off the new hero. So I'm going to go ahead and let the trailer play out here. As always, thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you on Thursday. We have waited for years without blood.
devoted our bodies to the great cause. Now the earth stirs. A rumbling cause. Jürmungandr. Bring your wrath, Ragnarök. Come. 